In this video, we want to learn how we can pass a parameter to a Java program when we start executing that. Let's move to the program source folder and the type of program I want to write is, for example, say I type java sum.java and then pass two parameters to this program, 10 and 5, and what I'm expecting, I'm expecting to get 15. But obviously, since I don't have any program, I get error here. So let's create a class called sum here. What I'm going to do is create a main method here, and we'll put my program inside that method. I type psvm, and as you know, IntelliJ creates this structure. If we add some parameters after the program name at the time we want to execute this program from command line, these parameters are passed to the Java program as values of the args argument. So this args, args argument is in fact an array of strings and the first parameter is placed as the first element of this array the second parameter is placed as the second element of this array, and so on. Let's quickly print out the elements of this args to verify what we have just said. I print out the args 0, which refers to the first element of the array, and also args 1, which refers to the second element of the array. Let's run the program from command line again. And as you see here, I'm getting 10 and 5 as I pass 10 and 5 as parameters to my program. Let's simply add these two numbers together. I write arg0 plus arg1. Execute the program again. But I'm getting 105, which is simply the program puts these two numbers together instead of adding them. The problem here is that arg0 and arg1 are actually strings and when we add them together Java concatenates these two strings and put them together. So when we enter 10 and 5 Java takes 10 as a string and 5 as a string and concatenates them together and prints out 105. To solve this problem, we need to convert the strings to integer before adding them together. To do that, we use the parse int method of the integer class. So I pass the arg0 to the parse int method of the integer class to convert it to, to integer first, and I do the same for the args1 and then add them together. Let's run the program again with the same arguments 10 and 5. And as you see, we are getting 15 this time. Let's try with two different numbers, 18 and 9, and I'm getting 27. But what will happen if I run the program via the IntelliJ? So I click this button and click the Run. And I will get error. And the reason for this is when we running the program via IntelliJ, we're actually missing to pass the parameters to our program. And args argument will be empty. And when we are accessing arg0, there's no element in arg0. And accordingly, there's no element in arg1. To solve this problem, we need to tell IntelliJ to pass these arguments to our program in some way. I click here to access the run configuration of the sum. I make sure I'm in the sum run configuration and in this part which is the program arguments I enter my arguments that I'm willing to be passed to my program. I click apply OK and let's run the program again. And as you see here, the program runs successfully and it prints 60, which is sum of 10 and 6 as I passed in the run configuration. 